Welcome. This is the T-Bird 6000A or MTS 6000A. In this case, the T-Bird 6000A. This tester is for transport testing and Ethernet testing on different interfaces. The package what you see in front of you is how you get it from your supplier ElectroVent. In the bag you will find the unit with the module inside and of course the necessary SFPs and XFPs to make the connectors. Also very useful is the quick getting starting manual and of course that the battery is fully loaded and that you have the, the correct XFPs and SFPs with you before you can start. The MTX 6000A have on the side where the module is the different interfaces. We have port 1 and we have port 2. In this case we have equipped the unit with an XFP for 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN measurements. And over here we can also equip it with SFPs, the small vector plugger walls for the 1 gig STM1, STM16 interfaces. Very important is to use the XFP what is needed for your tests. On top of the unit you will find the power connector to power the battery, the USB connectors to download in the later stage the measurement results and the connector for remote control. For long time measurements over 24 hours it's sometimes easy to use the unit remotely. This mainframe is equipped with this solution. By hitting the on off button the unit will be starting up. The start page will look like this. By hitting the touch screen we will start in the background the MSAM module to start up the test. By hitting the results we go you see that the unit is started and will be loaded. The unit is now started up. What you see over here is the total interface. By hitting the test knob we can select the measurement what we want to do. Today we do an introduction of Ethernet testing. The interface what we will use is the 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN and we will do a layer 2 traffic test. You will see on this moment the unit is selected for termination mode. What you have selected you see automatically in this field so that you do not make a mistake. 10 Gigabit Ethernet LAN and Layer 2 Traffic Termination Test. Before we can start the measurement, we have to set up the right traffic by hitting the Setup button. Coming to the Setup button, the first tab you will see what kind of XFP is connected into the unit. By hitting the Ethernet tab, we can set up the Ethernet flow. By using encapsulation, VLAN, or Q and Q, is easy to do by the selection. For example, we are going to use today a VLAN setup. Which kind of frame setup you want to do is use defined a selected frame size or in this case a random setup. How do you select the destination address and the source address in your setup? By just hitting one of the containers you can make your source type and fill in the source address, the destination address or your VLAN tag. Just by hitting the container you can fill it in. The next parameter that is very important for your setup is the way kind of traffic. You can have a constant traffic, you can have a burst traffic and you can also have a ramp traffic. 
by for example selecting the ramp you can really set up how the traffic will be loaded into the connection. These are the basics of the setup. Interface, Ethernet and traffic. Of course we are doing a layer 2 traffic test. By hitting the results button we are going back to the setup. By using those tab forms you can switch to different result pages and really depends on what kind of measurements you want to do in the field. Whether it is easy to set up, how and what you have to do. How do you start up the measurement? By putting the laser on, you can start your measurements by just easily pushing start stop. But you have to be careful that the light is on red. This means that your laser is on, so there will be traffic on your connector. If you now want to move to a 10 GB Ethernet LAN layer 3 option, you switch off your laser, test, select Ethernet, go to 10 GB Ethernet LAN and then go to for instance layer 2 or layer 3 traffic. IP version 4, termination mode. The unit will reboot towards the layer 3 options and you can set up the unit as a layer 3 traffic measurement. Change from layer 2 to layer 3 takes roughly one minute. And setup of a layer 3 option very easily. Pushing the setup button. Again, interface, Ethernet, and now you see the new tab that is called IP. We have seen it. And now the IP. Here you now can make your IP header for your layer 3 tests. How to do the test? Go back to your result page by hitting the result button, putting the laser on, on and start stop the traffic by hitting the start stop button. This is how you start and set up your unit. If you want to move to now to a total new technology, again stop the laser, select what you need and you can set it up very easily. Thank you for your time.